Yes, we fly the pregame show. I'm your host, Cooper Husky. Well, walla walla, one Sunday afternoon, they beat the Springfield Drifters 4-8, to eight, and that gave them their second series in a row, as they have now beat the Yakima Valley Pippins and the Springfield Drifters, both two games to one. Let's look at how it happened this Sweets never trailed at any point in the game. They jumped out to a 5-1 lead after the first three innings. Big parts of those runs were scored off a two-RBI triple from Joey Winters and a two-run homer from Hayden Driggs, his second home run of the series and the season. He's now second on the team in Dingers, just behind Colby Felix with five. Joey Winters also got a third RBI with a sacrifice fly. That gave him three RBIs on the game. That's a season high for the Ottawa first baseman. The runner Winters brought home was Colby Felix off a triple. That was the second triple of the game along with Winters' triple in the first. So the Sweets now lead the league with 18 triples, really getting those extra base hits in here at the tail end of the season. On the mound, Liam Hohenstein got his second win of the year. He tossed five and a third innings, gave up one run off five hits, one walk, five strikeouts. That lone run was allowed in the first inning. After that, it was just a great performance from Liam Hohenstein. Four scoreless innings after that, only three hits allowed. And only one walk along with five strikeouts to get that final line. Like, it was just a really good start for Liam Hohenstein. Three runs came in to score for both teams in the sixth. Walla Walla taking an 8-1 lead. Springfield making it back 8-4. But then Luke Stutzman took over the mound, and he tossed the final three innings for the Sweets, getting his first save of the season, a three-inning save, where he tossed to two batters over the minimum and got three strikeouts to go along with it. So with the win, the Sweets improved to 15-30. and 30. They're now five wins away from matching their total they hit last year. Went 20-34 and 34 last year. So if you're looking for continual progress as the seasons go along for the Sweets, they need to go 6-3 and three in their final nine games, final three series. And it starts here tonight against the Corvallis Knights. We're at Goss Stadium, home of the Oregon State Beavers. Definitely the nicest ballpark the Sweets have played in on the road all year, and we can't wait to get this three-game series started. Well, we'll take a break when we come back chatting with manager Jared Molna. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Sweets Live, the pregame show. Sometimes, life feels like it just comes down to the numbers. Whether it's your age, what's in your bank account, the miles traveled, or the miles to go. But those numbers are meaningless without you. You are what makes us special. At P1 FCU, we make decisions for you, not for profit. That means we can give you better rates than those other guys, including free checking that can earn dividends and great rates on savings. Explore better banking at P1 FCU. Your community, your credit union. Welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. We're here at the start of our final road trip of the season. Coach, it feels like this year has just flown by. We're here in Corvallis. Yeah, honestly, it's crazy. I think anybody that's been in baseball long enough, especially college baseball and going through those types of seasons, um, and these kind of schedules in particular where you're almost playing every single night, it makes any kind of time window uh, fly by so yeah it feels like just yesterday we were loading up the bus to go to bend and for us to be the last three of the series uh, of the year on the road I mean it's just kind of crazy to believe but uh, obviously a great place to play uh, great ball club on the other side of things so it should be a really good series to finish up our road schedule for the year yeah, talking about that series with Corvallis, we took two of three from our from them at our own place here right before the All-Star break. Similar arms coming up here tonight on the mound. Rex Soleil, Connor Marshall, what do you expect from these guys? Yeah, I just expect them to go out, relish the opportunity, uh, have fun, and compete in the strike zone. It's going to come down to be filling that thing up early on and making quality pitches late when we get the opportunity to put guys away. So, um Excited to hand the young buck the ball again. He's been really, really sharp as of late. So uh, just expect him to go out, have fun, and uh, keep doing his thing. Let's look at last night, an 8-4 win between 
the Sweets and the Drifters. The closest game of that series, 55 runs scored between the two over three days. That's the most runs scored in a series this season for the Sweets. I mean, it just felt like we couldn't be stopped at the plate this past weekend. Yeah, you know, I think some of that's a byproduct of uh, taking a lot of free passes, uh, taking walks when we could uh, earn them. Uh, get on base without having to swing the bat. Uh, we did a good job at standing there and wearing a couple pitches too, which is big time for our offense. And then, uh, yeah, it just seemed like we didn't miss pitches and leverage counts over the last three nights. We did a really good job at driving the ball when we got the opportunity to kind of scope it down and hunt the middle of the strike zone. And uh, a few big swings from Hayden Driggs, Joey Winters, Court McDonald, uh, Stevie Hom, uh, you name it. A bunch of guys had really good, really good series over there in Springfield. I mean, you pointed them out themselves. Hayden Driggs with his second home run of the season. He's now second on the team with that. And Joey Winters and Colby Felix each getting triples there. We now lead the league in triples at 18, if you can believe it. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's one I didn't know. But uh, obviously, anytime you lead the league in something positive, you'll take it. <laughs> All right. Well, Coach, we're about to start our last road series here at Corvallis at Oregon State. What a real cool venue to finish it out here. And thank you so much for joining us here on the pregame show. We'll take a break. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Sweets Live, the pregame show. It's time to play ball with Underwriter Honda of Walla Walla, where you're more than a guest. You are part of the family. And here's an exclusive offer for all you Sweets fans. Show us your Walla Walla Sweets ticket at your next service visit and receive 10% off any regular price service performed. Formerly Walla Walla Valley Honda, same great automotive family and proud sponsor of the Walla Walla Sweets. Underwriter Honda of Walla Walla, where you walk in as a guest and drive off as family. Welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. I'm joined here with Luke Stutzman. Luke, you got your first save of the season last night, a three-inning save. Only two batters over the minimum there. What were you feeling on the mound? Uh, I was just kind of feeling a little bit of everything, honestly. It felt like I was filling it up with all three of my pitches I was throwing yesterday. And, yeah, defense made some good plays behind me. All right, which pitch specifically did you think was working the best? Uh, I'd say specifically my breaking ball, uh, just flipping that over first pitch you know getting hitters to take that gives you a lot of freedom where you can go after that all right looking head ahead to this week's series against Corvallis we're here at the home of Oregon State home of the Beavers D1 program obviously this isn't your first time here you've been with the Sweets before you played the Knights before but how cool is it to be in a place where they've won a national championship yeah it's really cool it's even more fun when you win it win a series on their field so hopefully we can do that this year as well all right. Looking back at this season, what would be your favorite memory of 2024 now here in your second year with the Sweets? Uh, I'd really say just like with any team, just watching the team gel over the course of the year. Now, you know, getting so many new guys in and out and sort of having that having that core group of guys that brings everyone together throughout the year. I think it's really important for us. All right. Well, Luke, thank you so much for joining us here today on the pregame show. We'll take one more break. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Sweets Live, the pregame show. Atomic Dermatology and Med Spa in Walla Walla, your destination for healthy skin. Atomic's team of experienced providers give personalized care from medical to cosmetic, skin cancer to anti-aging treatments. Atomic's got you covered. Call them today to schedule your appointment and take the first step towards healthier, happier skin. Atomic Dermatology and Med Spa in Walla Walla. Because your skin deserves the best. Welcome back into Sweets Live, the pregame show. Well, now let's take a look at the matchup on the mound 
First for our Walla Walla Suites, it's Rex Soleil, the freshman committed to UCLA down in Los Angeles, the right-hander from Larkspur, California, coming in with a 2-1 record and a 3-3-7 ERA. All three of his decisions, the two wins and the one loss, coming here in his last three starts for the Suites. His first win of the year was against this very same Corvallis Knights. He tossed six innings, gave up one run off four hit, no walks, and four strikeouts. Most recently was his start against the Yakima Valley Pippins when he tossed six innings, gave up one run off one hit, three walks, eight strikeouts, four wrecks. That was a game score of 71, which was the best start at home for any Sweets pitcher as the Sweets went on to win that game 10-1. to On the year, Rex has 23 strikeouts through 24 innings, has really turned on the strikeout train here towards the end of the season, and we will look for the same here tonight against the Knights. On the mound for Corvallis is Lucas Casey, a right-hander from Tucson, Arizona, will be a sophomore at Cal State Northridge in the fall, making his third start of the year, ninth appearance overall, coming in with a 1-0 record and a 1-7-4 ERA. He did not pitch against the Sweets in that three-game set at Borleski right before the All-Star break. Most recent performance was July 26th, just three days ago, against the Portland Pickles. In the game, the Knights won 5-3. He tossed an inning and two-thirds, gave up two runs off one hit, one walk, one strikeout. Well, that'll about do it for us here on Sweets Live, the pregame show. I want to thank my guest, manager Jared Molna, and pitcher Luke Stutzman for joining me here today. Always enjoyed chatting with you guys here on the pregame show. And I want to thank you, the listener, as well for tuning in and making Sweets Live, the pregame show, part of your day. Thank you for listening. First pitch is set for 635, and you can catch the game right here on Mixler.com on the Sweets Radio Network. It's game one between the Sweets and the Knights. I'll see you then. I've been Cooper Husky, and this has been Sweets Live, the pregame show.